stone-faced soldiers are back in SOCOM 3, U.S. Navy SEALs. Go, go, go! For those of you who've been jonesing for a chance to give your trigger finger a workout, this is the game for you. Ooh. Enemy neutralized! There's action aplenty here. The game sports more explosions and firefights than the first season of the A-Team. But the big news here is the game's online upgrade. You can now have 32 players fighting simultaneously, so you'd better learn how to work together. Roger that. Or get blown apart. And with countless new modes, endless customization, and 12 fresh multiplayer maps, there's no doubt SOCOM 3 will have you logged on from 0700 to 2200. Offline, the game is still fun. You can choose your favorite badly named squad members before each mission. Really, what grown man likes being called Jester? We're in place, sir. Grow some dignity. As in SOCOM 2, you can still issue voice commands to your teammates with the PS2 headset. Let's get but moving. be aware, you will look like a crazy person. Okay, soldiers! Move the game out. sometimes requires you to keep a low profile. Those guys don't know we're here. We should try to be stealthy. Problem is, it's hard to be stealthy when there's nothing to hide behind. SOCOM 3 adds the ability to drive vehicles. Oh, this road is making me nauseous. Buck up, soldier. You can switch on the fly between driving and shooting, which is important since you'll have lots of target practice. And before you ask, yes, you can run people over. It's him or me. Unfortunately, you can't spend every moment behind the wheel. The game finds lots of excuses to get you out on your feet. Let's leave the vehicles here. The well is just ahead and we don't want to tip them off. Even simple obstacles are too much for these vehicles. Damn you unbreakable chain link fence. Yeah, I guess I could use the exercise. Not to get political or anything, but does anyone else think your character in SOCOM sounds a little bit like George W? What kind of camel has no humps, no hooves, and drinks no water? I, I don't want to know. I'm looking for the sand lion. He's crazy. Son, you've done a great job. SOCOM 3 is also educational. If you ever wanted to learn how to say, we're being attacked in Arabic, here you go. The missions are more varied than they were in the previous games. Here, the recruits of SOCOM 3 take out G4's broadcasting tower. This place is wired and ready to go up. Clear out! The game even lets you mark targets with your laser scope for airstrikes. Of course, when it comes right down to it, there's no substitute for a bazooka. Good job. Although SOCOM 3 doesn't add many new elements to the franchise, we had a lot of fun getting down and dusty with this tail in the desert. I forgot how much fun this is. So did we. SOCOM 3 gets four hooahs out of five. Come on. Who are indeed. This is hands down the best online shooter for the PS2. Now, it may not be the prettiest game out there, but for online tactical shooting fans, it's definitely the most addictive.